have no idea if you can hear me, but I am currently on my way to Raglan on the first trip for me and the van that I still haven't got a name for. I think it's a he though, but I don't know what he's called yet. Um, but yeah, it's kind of ironic because this is where I got the van from. Um, but they brought it to me in Hamilton. They actually, like, I didn't go and collect it from Raglan. That's just where they were based before. Um, but yeah, so taking them home. <laughs> um, yeah, so it should be fun. We just come down to the beach, which is like right outside um, the campsite. So this view is literally not even a two minute walk from where my van is, which is stunning. And I think this is black sand. missed the sea so much. This is the first time that I've seen the sea in like four months, something like that. And I live right next to the sea at home, so that's really weird. Oh my gosh, it's literally so warm as well. I am going swimming tomorrow. I'm so excited. It's so stunning here. Look at this. It's so pretty. Oh yeah, also, from what I saw from Raglan, it's like a really pretty town. Like, there's so many little cute shops and they look, it looked really nice. Like, I didn't really get to see much because I literally just drove around and then I've just um, had my dinner and I've been reading my book. Um, but yeah, so like the campsite's kind of like on an, like a tiny island, like that's like just over a bridge. Um, away from Raglan, so Raglan's actually like that way. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go into town tomorrow um, and I'll come and do some swimming on the beach as well. Okay, it was like basically time for bed, um, but I've just been thinking like probably only like six months ago maybe maybe a bit longer than that but like during covid um let's start again in covid my like comfort zone shrank massively like to be honest even before that it wasn't that huge like after covid i literally couldn't comprehend like i had i really had to push myself to um even go for a walk like without headphones in like a walk on my own with headphones in was a challenge like i'd literally have to listen to a podcast to go for a walk by myself and now i'm literally like camping in a different country completely on my own and the closest person that like could even maybe come and get me it's like 40 minutes away like, I am very much on my own. I mean, I'm in a campsite, so, like, I'm not on my own. But still, I'm proud of myself. Good night. <laughs>
Okay, kids come back from the shops. They got this t shirt, which is cute from like a charity shop. Um, yeah, I've been like shopping in Raglan. I also got this, which I've wanted to read for a while from like a second hand bookshop. Um, oh yeah, I went to get, um, I went to a bakery and I got some, I got a fruit loaf from there, which is yum, hopefully. <laughs> oh, I got an iPhone charger as well because I left mine at home and it's probably quite a good idea to just keep one in the van anyway, so I got a charger. Oh, I got this top as well. Let's see. Hopefully it fits fine. It's like a cute little pajama top. It's a nice material as well. Um, that other top is a man's top, but it's just like the pajamas. So it's cute. Oh, I got um, some toothpaste and like a tongue scraper from a zero way shop so that was cool uh, I think that's it yeah I went to like quite a few shops but I didn't really need that much so I was just looking and then just bought stuff that like caught my eye but yeah it's actually like it's suddenly gone absolutely boiling literally just as I was walking back over the bridge um, so I really want to go swimming so I'm going to go to What's it called? Oh, Bridal Veil Falls. So, oh, you can't really see. Okay. So, I am in here. Hang on. There. And the falls are down here. So, I'm just going to go for a little drive. And they look nice. That's a picture of them. so I did end up coming to the waterfall because I got a bit bored of the beach because it was really pretty but like I was done reading my book um so yeah and it's only like a 20 minute drive or something so I was like oh might as well like I'm here to see stuff might as well see stuff so yeah I'm heading up to the waterfall now so I hope it's pretty <laughs>
Yeah, so I told myself I wouldn't buy any more things, but I saw this really cute shop and I got two more things. Um, I just keep buying everything. I don't need to, but no, but it's gonna be cute because look, I got this little dream catcher and she's gonna go right there because it's cute. Oh my man, that does actually look really cute. I like that. And this is called a string of bananas because it looks like a string of bananas. Um, so that's fun too. And I think that would go in my room rather than my van, but yeah, not too many things. <laughs> okay, so because it's like a hostel place, there's like um, a kitchen and this is like the lounging area. And then yeah, there's like a kitchen, so I don't actually have to use my van kitchen. So I'm just making my pasta in here. So it's pretty, it's like noisy, but it's like pretty useful because yeah, so long as you don't mind cooking with other people around, then it's fine. I actually don't think I've ever been happier I'm eating chocolate, watching the sunset, reading a book. And it's so warm and I just feel happy. Also, the book is about suicide, but it's really funny. Which I don't get at all. Um, it's called A Long Way Down. It's about four people that meet when they're about to jump off a building. And for some reason it's hilarious. <laughs>